Hey guys, welcome back. Long time no see. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started and create our first component. Um, but before we can do that, it looks like there's already a default component. So we have this hello view, um, which I'm just going to go ahead and delete for right now. Just move it to the trash, which will break everything because we are importing it right here. I'm trying to use it and we have that logo. Um, and let's see, I can get rid of all this for now. Strip it down. Let's see. And looks like we're importing it from there. So we'll do that a refresh. There's nothing there because we have nothing that's being rendered. And we can see this cool uh, tool here. The view uh, JS. Where did I find this on the Chrome Chrome extensions page here? That's where I found it. So you can see what's in each application. So we have nothing in here. We just had the root and then the app is getting loaded into the app component is getting loaded into the root. So there's nothing there, but that's handy uh, to see. So we can make that a little smaller. Perfect. So over here, what we want to do, let's go back to have to have view. So in our template, let's actually put some stuff in here. Div um, class, we'll make an app. And there we'll do, give this a class of to do wrapper like we have in our other videos. And then we're gonna actually create um, a component, we'll call it app header, and we'll give it a closing tag. So kind of like you do in Angular, uh, you remember React was self-closing tags um, for the components. Well, this one, you have to do an open and close tag, which that'll explode, as you can see, because it can't find that element. So what we need to do is actually create that uh, component, it's a new file, and our new file will be components, call it app header.view. Perfect. So now we have that. Um, what we can do is we'll create a template tag. Template. Oops. Oh, that's cool. Self-generated. I installed an Atom uh, plugin there. Um, so in here we can go make an h1 tag and we'll say view to do's like we have done before. Um, and we don't really need the script or style tag, so we can kind of blow that away. And then what we need to do is back here, our app.js, we'll need to import that component for the header. So go import app header from, say, components. It's in the same directory, that folder at least. Components, spell. Um, app header dot view. And then our components here we can put app um, header. Save that. Boom, view to do's. That's kind of ugly, isn't it? Um, we're probably missing. Got some CSS there. What other CSS are we missing? There's got to be something. Let me check here. So no, we got some extra styles we want to put. Ah, uh, there we go. So must have missed this here. So some of the built-in ones. And boom! That looks a lot like our uh, previous to-do apps. Boom! So. There we go, we just got our first component, the app header component, which uh, that part's optional. But, so we have a template tag, we don't need a script or style tag because we're literally just, it's a dumb component, we're just rendering the title in there. Um, and this is just kind of to, maybe you wouldn't break this out into a separate component, maybe you would. But this is just kind of show you how you can create a separate component. And down here we import app header, component and we render it here into our app component. And then we can see, we click down, 
blam. So you can see kind of the nesting going on here. And it's cool, you can highlight over, you can see it, and you can see exactly where that renders. You see a little bit of blue highlight that pops up there. And that's it. Um, I think that'll go away if we just refresh. Yep, cool, so we're good to go. So that's it for importing that header component. In the next one, we'll actually uh, set up the to-do input. So check back in a sec, see ya.